Welcome back everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to be attempting to at least make the start of a turn-based battle system. Um, so basically you'll be able to uh, fight, a, fight a character and uh, gain XP. Okay so to start we will first of all we'll create a fresh scene. Uh, we'll just choose one of the basic uh, backgrounds. And we'll make the game start here as well. Uh, we'll call it Battle. And uh, what we're going to do is make the player start in it. And we're going to have an actor that the player is going to attack. Uh, just, let's choose this thing. It's a person. So when they interact with it, we basically... We basically want the uh, a battle to happen, right? So the battle will happen on this screen. We could do it on a different screen, but to keep it simple, I'll do it on this screen. Uh, so when we interact, we want to attack them, and we want to um, we want to take health away from them, and we also want to let them attack us too. So first of all, we want to set this up for that. So to start on initiate, um, when we initiate the scene or the game, if we if this was to be at the very start of the game, we want to, let's get our math functions out. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's set, so you want a fresh variable when they haven't already touched, because this will rename to player health. And we'll set it to a value of, let's say five, and we'll also have uh, another math event. Um, by the way, if you want to, if you will copy a, uh, if you copy one of these things, if you hold Control and then click on the Add Event thing, it will turn it into a Paste Event, and you can just easily paste it in like that. So first of all, we've got the player health. We also want to have, let's have the player strength. This will be how much damage uh, is done when they're attacking. So player strength. Um, we'll set that to one. We'll have the enemy health. Um, enemy health. And we'll have the enemy strength. So we'll set that to uh, one as well. Set the enemy health to three, so that we're more powerful than the we're more we have more health than the enemy. Um, and we also want another one for uh, the player experience. Um, we might even want player level, but uh, that will be a bit more advanced. But I'll just I'll just have experience for now, and I'll make it so when you hit the experience cap, it increases your uh, your strength and resets your health, or increases your health. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make it, I'll keep it simple. Player experience, there we go. So now we've made it so it sets the health, the strength, the enemy health, strength, and the player experience. Uh, so, we want to make it so now when we attack this thing, we have a choice uh, whether we want to to attack or run. And then we want to if compare compare with value if there is equal to one, then we basically do whatever we don't want to do. Otherwise, we walk away. So. When we attack, we want to. So this is where it, uh, this is where it becomes interesting, right? Because obviously, if you have more than one skill, like uh, punching, kicking, sword, whatever, uh, maybe potions, you'd have a different uh, another thing saying, um, you know, which one of those do you want to do? But we'll keep it simple. We we'll say you've just said attack. So now we want to do is uh, I'm actually going to do a math function, and I'm going to basically have a temporary value 
and I'm going to set it to a random value between 0 and 1. So it's either yes or no. In fact, I might have it between 0 and 2. So there's a 33% chance of a, of a 0 and a 66% chance of uh, a 1 or a 2. So what we'll then do is say if that value is not 1, is not equal to, I mean, not equal to 0, um, then we we have attacked them. So we'll say, uh, we will say the enemy health, enemy health. Okay, first of all, we get the math value to do this, the math function. We say the player, I mean, the enemy health uh, is subtract variable and we'll say the player strength. So it takes away uh, the the uh, enemy's health based on how strong we are. So this one will be uh, obviously if we if currently at strength of one, it will take three hits to kill them, which is fair enough. So and then we want to check see if they died. So if enemy enemy health is equal to zero, then we want to say the enemy is dead and we want to we want to give the player the experience they need right so let's do math functions we'll do experience and then we'll add a value of let's say let's say it's uh, let's say 10 let's say 10 so every time you kill and kill this enemy, it gives them, it gives you an experience of ten. Uh, so we also then want to, we also want to trigger a thing saying, um, an if statement saying if the player experience is above a certain number, then we level up. So let's say is greater than or equal to Let's say it's 10 as well. Um, and obviously you could have it so each level has a different value that it needs. Uh, so then you would, uh, it would scale increasingly. We could do that in a, in a separate video if, uh, if that is needed to be uh, explained a little more. But so if the ex player experience is more than 10, then we say, uh, you leveled up. And then we set, or let's do the math function again. We want to say strength. The uh, way we want the player strength uh, to be to add a value of one. So every time they level up, they get an extra. Uh, they get stronger basically. And we also then we want to. We also want to set the experience to. Uh, we set it to false, meaning zero, or to make sure it's zero, we tell it a value of zero. So every time, uh, every time they reach, or whenever they reach a uh, experience value of ten, they level up, and they gain, they get more strong. So uh, we can even say, just to prove it, you can say, your strength is now. And then we can have the uh, strength uh, value, which is 20. So your strength is now, and then it will display our strength to us. So fantastic. So that is if it's greater than 10. And if it's not greater than 10, we don't care. It can continue as, as normal. Um, but So let's go back again. So enemy health is equal to is zero, then the enemy is dead. Uh, but if the enemy isn't dead, then we want to uh, we want to make the enemy attack us. So we want to say we want to do the same thing. We want to have another like a roll of the dice almost, um, setting a random value, and we'll make it so the the player has a better chance of surviving, so it's not annoying. Uh, so we'll do 
math functions and we'll do another temp value and set to random and we'll do this one and three so uh but on this time we'll make it so if it is zero then we then we do attack or maybe three any of them is, would be a quarter chance okay like one in four so we then do that and we say if if uh, compare with value um if this temp value is equal to let's say three if it's equal to three then we say uh the enemy attacked attacked back the enemy attacked back and then we say then we want to make it so the uh the player health so we want the math function so the player health is subtracted by the variable of the enemy strength we'll clamp that so it uh so it doesn't go back over to 255 like it's saying here uh and then we want to have another check saying if uh yeah we want to yeah so i'm gonna have another check saying if value here of player strength i mean no we want player health if the player health is equal to zero then say you died and then we can uh we could play a bit of music you know sad music we could then change it to the scene of uh uh of them of the end of the game over screen but for now we'll just leave it so we can walk away and we can uh, easily test it uh so we say you died uh but if they didn't die then uh we can display the health so you can say you have and then we'll put the value and it will display that health you have health, that much amount of health um so now we've made it so we can be attacked we'll make it so if it isn't attacked and say we can just say uh the enemy missed actually make, make it more fun make it say you dodged uh their attack fantastic uh so now we've had it have it so uh when the enemy attacks it actually has outcomes uh so when the player uh chooses attack or run if they choose attack uh it does a random roll of the dice and you either hit the enemy and if you hit the enemy you uh it can kill them and then if you miss they can hit you uh but if you if you miss then we need to have that play out so we can say you or maybe let's say they dodged your attack just like we did before uh but obviously the other way around and then we want to we want to take what we what we happened before with the of you being attacked so we'll just copy that so we don't have to do it all again so when so when you miss it now says they dodged you attack your attack and then it uh, does a random value and uh, they either attack back or they or you dodge them easy okay so now we're here we can walk around and there's the enemy right there so if we interact we can either run and that does nothing or we can attack okay so I'm guessing we missed but because I didn't code that in uh, we didn't know that so let's just keep going you dodged their attack fantastic attack the enemy attacked back you have four health okay so attack the enemy is dead okay what I should be doing here is displaying the uh, the fact that you've hit them and that you are doing damage and so you can keep track of it so here we go uh, you leveled up your strength is now two fantastic uh, and if we attack then obviously they're already dead 
right? But we still level up because that isn't a check. So our strength is now free. But you can see how if we were to hide them, we would uh, be able to go through and level up. And if we had another one tracking our level and checking each time, then uh, we would actually have a level to to play against and that could be used to unlock different doors and stuff. So I'll just go back and I'll add those extra little flourishes that will make it uh, more interesting, that, or not more interesting, but uh, make it so you know that you've attacked them and how much health they have, okay? So let's have a look here. So when you attack, when they do attack, uh, here we go, we wanna say, so with the enemy health. So just before the, uh, we wanna add a thing saying, you, hit the enemy uh, so uh, that's so when when it's confirmed that you have hit them it says you hit the enemy uh, and then it displays the either they're dead or if not then we want to basically say uh, where is it so the enemy is dead um, yeah, so here it is. So in this one, this, in this green bit, it says if the enemy health is equal to zero, then it, they say they're dead. Otherwise, we want to say they have how much health. So let's just close these. So in, before all this happens, we're going to say the enemy has, and then which is their health value? 21. The enemy has this much health. And we might have to paste that in the other bit as well. Uh, they dodged your attack. If maybe we should put it after they, they dodged your attack, so we're so we are up to date on it. Uh, they dodged your attack. Fantastic. So let's give that another go. Okay, so we're back in. If we go up to them, attack, you hit the enemy. The enemy has two health. So that's gone down one because we set it to three at the very beginning. Uh, the enemy attacked back, you have four health. So because they have a strength value of one, we now have four health. Let's attack. You hit the enemy. The enemy has one health. Fantastic. The enemy attacked back. We have three health. So obviously because I, I put the values like that, we aren't dying. So remember when you set this up, you want to make sure that the uh, you design it so that it's fun for the player, right? Or not. Maybe you want to, maybe it's like Dark Souls or something. <laughs> so you hit the enemy. The enemy is dead. You leveled up. Your strength is now two. Fantastic. So Obviously, that's how you would make a, a turn-based fighting system. You have to make sure that you you give the player the option of what they want to do. For example, attack or run, which you could obviously make it so they're only allowed to attack however many times before that skill runs out, like in Pokemon games, uh, like an energy meter, you know. Uh, and then you want to make it so that the pl the enemy attacks back, and you have to make sure that the player and uh, yeah the pl the player has feedback on what they're actually doing as they do it. Uh, it might be also important to uh, give them the information of how lucky they're likely to be, uh, which would make it more interesting. But uh, I hope this was useful, everybody. Uh, please leave a comment and uh, tell me how I did, because uh, this is only my second tutorial. I tried to speed up this time. Uh, if, if you want me to elaborate on anything, I can elaborate in the comments, or um, I, obviously I can make a second video. So please give me the feedback and I uh, will definitely take into account. Thank you.